Hello everyone, this is Drew from EasyText. In this video, I will show you how to change the display language of your Windows 10 to virtually any language of your choice. I will also show you how to toggle between multiple display languages as well as how to change your keyboard layout with just few clicks. I'm making this video because Fuad Shi, hope I'm pronouncing it right, asked for it in a previous video I made on how to upgrade from Windows 7 or 8.1 to Windows 10 for free. If you are yet to upgrade your Windows 7 or 8.1 to Windows 10, you may find this video useful. I will leave the link in the description section below. So, let's go ahead and change the display language of our Windows 10. First, you click on your Windows Start icon and from here you click on this gear icon that takes you to your settings page. And from your settings page, you click on time and language. And from the side here, you click on region and language. Now this takes you to your region and language um, settings. Um, to add a new language, you click on this plus sign or this tab that says add a language. By the way, it's advisable to put um, the correct location in this um, um, country or region because it helps to, as you can see here, Windows and apps might use your country or region to give you local content. So it's advisable to have the right location so that um, your applications can have the right content. So to add a new language here, we click on this add language. And then from here, you see a list of all the language packs that Windows 10 has. So from here, you can either search for your language or you could use this um, search box to search for your preferred language. So here I would, um, for the purpose of this video, I would want to use um, Finnish, which is um, Suomi in Finnish. So I'll be installing Finnish language pack and also the, um, the Finnish keyboard layout. So here I type Suomi and then it narrows down my search. So I click on this and automatically you get a notification saying we are adding some new features to Windows. So this installs the Suomi or the Finnish keyboard layout automatically to your Windows 10. So if whatever language of um, preference you must have clicked will automatically uh, install its keyboard layout to your initial or your default um, layout. So here now you see that my default layout was um, English. And when I click now, I see that I have the Finnish keyboard option. So it has automatically installed it, but that's not the end. That has not installed your language pack. It's just the keyboard layout. Now to install your language pack, by the way, you don't have to use the installed keyboard layout in case it's, um, you have a keyboard layout that is different from the one of your preferred language. So you can retain your default keyboard layout or you can toggle between the two layouts depending on your preference. So here I go back to the Suomi option and then I click on these options. So here you see that you can download your language pack from this page. So here you see the language pack itself. You can download here and then you have few other packages you might want to download like the speech pack or uh, the keyboard is already there. You could add a keyboard if it wasn't. So now what we want to do here is to download the language pack and also the speech pack in case you have an application that requires it or you want to use it yourself directly. So here we are going to click on download language pack and we also click on the download the speech and pack and you get another notification that we are adding a new feature to your windows and this could take few minutes now. I have to issue a quick warning. This takes a while to download. Of course, depending on the size of your language pack and the speed of your internet connection, but I would advise that you should do this at a spare time. It, it takes some time. You don't have to wait for it. And also you don't um, have to stop working with your computer. The download happens uh, at the background and also the installation happens at the background. So uh, from this point, you could continue whatever it is you are doing on your computer and wait for the download. You can check it from time to time by coming back to this page. We are going to fast forward this, um, the download process and the installation process down to the point where the installation is already effective.
now that the installation is complete you can see here it tells you language pack installed of course you need to restart your computer for the installation to be effective so now we are going to restart and then check again and see what language our windows currently has so after restarting we go back to our language our settings page and then time and language and then we go back to our region and language page here you see that it says language pack installed so the suomi language pack is already installed so now to change it to the default language we now click on set as default so when we click set as default it now tells us suomi will be the display language after next sign in so here we now close our window And then we sign out and sign in again by restarting so after restarting we'll notice that our this windows display language is now changed to finish that's suomi so from the right click options on your desktop to your um, start menu to your power options to your settings to your um, calendar time and date um, your windows explorer you now see everything is now in finish um, your applications your your windows apps everything now your display language automatically becomes um, the finish or whatever language you have um, selected from your language options so here we can see um, another quick information regarding this um, keyboard layout as you can see here so basically sometimes we have keyboards that we are not sure how to get certain symbols from the keyboard it's probably because we have the wrong keyboard um, layout so it's advisable to check your laptop model and also the location because um, most manufacturers ship to locations with keyboards that are custom to those um, locations so if if you bought your laptop from abroad then you might not have the local um, keyboard setting except if it's from a, uh, a country that shares the same keyboard layout so you might want to find out the correct keyboard layout depending on your um, your laptop model and um, i mean the full model number to know specifically what keyboard layout um, it has so you can download the right layout so that all the keys or all the buttons on your keyboard would correspond to the um, symbols that are drawn on them so that is it about how to change your keyboard layout and how to change your windows display language thanks again to Fuad C for asking this very important question if you have any questions regarding the procedures in this video or any related um, problems you might be having with your laptop you think you need help with please post in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If your question requires a video, I could make a video like this and give you some shout out. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. It means a lot to me. Also remember to share with your friends who you think might need this kind of solution. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.